Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you a patch note update on Star Citizen. I logged on today to record a bit of Star Citizen and there were all these patch notes so I thought I would read them out to you guys and kind of have a little video of it. So first of all, they have increased the size of the servers deployed. So that means that I may actually be able to bring you some online play today or tomorrow. They have also adjusted the power consumption and the speed of the laser for both the claws and the Werner... Bull, 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 bulldog, but I, I don't exactly know what that means. So I'll have to wait until I actually see how things pan out here. So, bugs fixed. They fixed the unable to access multiplayer with an account that contains appropriate multiplayer game items. Resolved an issue in the multiplayer where pilots enter, enter animation would play every time you respawn. Resolve an issue where the Hornet's Gatling gun <clears throat> which would cause it to begin to take heat damage prior to reaching the critical heat state. I think I was party to that once or twice. Resolved, resolved an issue with the AI firing their Gatling guns constantly until they were destroyed due to heat damage. That's a pretty big one that I didn't notice. Resolved an issue with the plot animation, pilot animation becoming offset in the 300i when viewed in third person. Didn't really see that happening, or didn't notice it happening anyways. Resolved issue which caused the animation for patching up and down, oh, for pitching up and down in the cockpit to be reversed, resolved an issue which caused the AI who were destroyed when the player blew up the engine and reactor to register as having committed suicide. That was the one that I kept seeing. Remember, they would always commit suicide. I'm like, what the hell? I need to kill... I killed these assholes. So resolved an issue where in multiplayer... That would often ca cause a crash of the server and clients around the end of a round. Connected, corrected a small issue with cooling on the 300, which could cause un... un I can't read that. Unintentional overheating under normal operating conditions. That's another one I came across a lot. So those are fixed. Maybe I'll be able to bring you some online play. Maybe not. Either way, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little patch note video. Um, I guess if you wanted to just mute me and listen and read them yourself, they are right here. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. I'm really looking forward to a couple of these overheating functions being changed. Bye.